know these niggas and these bitches, they be plotting on me. I miss my dog, pray to God that he watch over me. I know these streets don't give a fuck about a nigga like me. I know What's good, YouTube? This your boy, Hood Facts TV. And I'm back with another video. You already know my motto. I'm not going to hold y'all up. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell for yourself. Leave a comment. I definitely need to know y'all thoughts on this video. Hit that like button because it helps your boy out a lot. And I really appreciate that. But before we get into this video, shout out to the homeboy Uncle Paulie. He's been down with me from day one. He just copped that merch. I been had movement that just dropped. I appreciate you, bro. I will be sending that out to you very soon. If you guys want to send donations, the Cap app is right here in the corner. Go ahead and um, send your donations through the Cash app. I really appreciate that. And um, this video right here is kind of crazy. We got a couple that's at the airport. The girlfriend has a mental breakdown. I'm talking about she spazzes out. And... I don't think nobody should take this type of verbal abuse. Nobody, a female or a male, it's not right. But I'm not going to talk y'all ear off, but um, we're about to get into this video. So let's go ahead and get to it. Yeah, so there you have it, man. I don't know, man. It's just like, I don't think nobody should take that type of verbal abuse. No matter what you're going through in life, man, you don't put nobody else down. Evidently, she's definitely having a bad moment. And um, I don't know, man. I just feel like verbal abuse is way, way bad. It's, it's just as bad as is, is, is physical abuse. Um, that's a too much energy. She wasted so much energy just by screaming. Like, who screams like a five-year-old? Like, she acts just like a five-year-old. Like, that, that's ridiculous. Like, um, I'm pretty, like, if I was bro, like, I probably would never mess with her again. I would probably just walked away. Um, in them type of situations, you can't even think right. Like, imagine living with a female like that. That you can't even have a decent conversation with. Like that's your girl. She's supposed to bring you up. Not 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 put you down. Are you a loser? Like these are the type of words that stick into people's head. Like and I just feel like when you when a person treat another person like that, they're unhappy with themselves for sure, for sure. Like because it doesn't take all that. However you felt about the situation, whatever they was going through, which we don't know what happened before that or what happened at home or what he said or anything like that for her to make her spaz out like that. But what I'm saying to you is he was so calm. Like she looked like she does that on, like she does that normally. That's what she does. Like, and um, I just think it's unfair. You know what I'm saying? And if it's a man or a female, I think everybody should stay away from that type of relationship because um, bringing somebody else down is never good. Kicking somebody while they down is never good because you heard him tell an um, officer or the security that we both stress. And that's what it could be. Like, she could be stressed out. You know what I'm saying? You never know what's going on in people's life, but just to have a mental breakdown and take it out on your partner and calling names and stuff, that's just very, very, very unfair, man. And women like that and people like that need to be 
by yourself. No matter how much you love that person or how much you see yourself being with that person, don't take that type of abuse from nobody. And I'm hoping that they don't have no kids involved because especially if it's a woman, a girl, because a girl grow up thinking you talk to your man like that and or if a, a guy grow or if even as a son or a little boy, he's going to grow up thinking, well, this is how women talks to their man. So ho let's hope and pray that there's no kids involved and you know what I'm saying? Maybe she'll get the help that she need. But in my opinion, bro, leave ASAP because it's only going to get worse and maybe y'all just not meant to be together. And in public is just crazy. Doing it in public is just retarded to me. Like, oh my God, like you couldn't wait till y'all got home or got to y'all destination and then spaz out on him. Like you just degraded him in, in public. Even though you're people laughing at you, but you still embarrassed him. His, he still had feelings and his feelings is still was embarrassed and probably hurt at the same time. And sometimes I think females don't think men have feelings you know what i'm saying we're supposed to just eat everything up that they dish out and that's unfair you know what i'm saying and i'm not saying that the bash because all women is not like that it's just some women live like that you know what i'm saying and, um yeah i'm not about to talk y'all air off man i just want to get my i just seen this little video on x and i just felt like it's fucked up you know what i'm saying she fucking with this man emotionally man she fucking with his mental like yeah so I don't know, man. Give me y'all thoughts on this video in the comments, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell. For sure, hit that like button because it helps my video get uh, recommended. And I'm up out of here. Gang, stay away from these tight bitches, though.